What's up, guys? I hope you're well. Chadio here. It's Wednesday. We got Mitchell and Webb. Maybe we'll make this as a solid thing. Mitchell and Webb Wednesday. We'll see. Maybe I'll make it happen. We'll have to wait and see. So today we're checking out Shop with Mitchell and Webb. If you're new here, hit the subscription button, ring that bell. Also, leave a comment down below and give a thumbs up. Let's check out Shop, shall we? Yeah, I think what's happened over the last 50 or so years is that shopping has become a kind of leisure pursuit that people can actually enjoy, you know? Yeah, you're right. People have got a lot more money and everything's just a hell of a lot more relaxed now. I recognize her from, um, a peep show. Yeah. Haha, -ha, see? I have been watching. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, cheers. Um, I'm just vaguely looking at suits right now. Uh, something cash, but also kind of cool and dark, so you can wear it in the evening. A business suit that is simultaneously a dinner suit and a tailcoat and a pair of pyjamas. Yeah, around a kind of 100, <laughs> 150 right. mark. Which is fashioned from sackcloth and string. I'm sorry? Do you wish to look smart, or are you merely looking for a newer version of what you're wearing at the moment? Oh, well, if you've got something like this, then... You mean something Italian and ill-fitting, and so shiny I can see my face in it, in stark <laughs> contrast to your shoes? Uh, yeah. We do not. Sorry, what happened to the friendly Australian girl that used to work here? She's gone, sir. They've all gone. Oh, They've no. all been driven out and the burning remains of their tawdry rags cast after them. And we're back. Who? The incredibly intimidating and aristocratic people who still unaccountably sell clothes. I'm afraid we don't like being talked to by people with their hands in their pockets. I beg your pardon. I'll overlook it just this once. Listen, I've seen you in here before. I've seen you slouching around the place in your slip-on shoes and your motorcycle jacket, looking like a mechanic who's won the pools. I've seen you with your tin earring and your black marketeer swagger. We've all seen you, and we all thought you were a turd. Now, do you wish to be smart, or do you wish to leave this place as you entered it, looking like a slack-jawed spit? Why are you treating me like this? Because I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you to have standards. I'm trying to make you know that the world isn't pleased to see you. You aren't needed or included or loved. You're ugly and superfluous and ignorant. And you should be frightened and meek and grateful. Right. That's better. Now, first things first, let's get you a hat. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> wow, uh... Well, Mr. David Mitchell right there was playing kind of, uh, kind of snooty, snooty, snotty, snotty. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Some Ferris Bueller right there. Well, this character was a true dick, wasn't he? <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Ah, yeah, I know clothing stores like this, too. We got clothing stores like this in the States. It's like, you walk in there, you're not going to be happy, especially if you're dressed like me. <laughs> so, yeah, but, uh, if there's a... Mitchell and Webb that you'd like me to react to. Let me know down in the comments. But until then, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.